My second album, Volume 2, came out on March 13th. And so we actually played our first show of tour in San Diego, and then the world shut down on the 15th. So we did not leave for the rest of the shows. And so it was like shock. And then when the death toll started coming in, it's when I realized that nothing was more important than human lives being lost. Hi, I'm Lauren Ruth Ward, and I am an artist living in Los Angeles. I didn't always want to become a musician. It was like knocking on my door, and this is what I'm doing with my time predominantly right now. But I'm not just a hairstylist, just a musician, just a photographer. I'm a multifaceted being, as we all are. I was a very rebellious teenager. I got expelled from my first high school, and so 19, moved out in hair school, and that was really cool to just be known for how good you are at doing something versus like whose bad little sister you are. That's when I started to really get to know myself and respect myself. I lived in LA for five years now, and I love it. It feels like home. There's people of all different walks of life. Most times I feel like a bed out of hell. The sad part about not being able to go on tour was missing the opportunity to connect with the people who connect with my art, which is the reason why we're all doing this. I'm living in my personal hell. I don't need your ammunition. I did a lot of live streams with some of the venues that we were supposed to tour with. Can only see the Echo. They are transitioning into a virtual venue. They're doing it. It's so nice to see a venue that I love so much have an actual chance to provide spaces for music lovers. I'm excited. I'm really happy for them. The one time I was a rowdy Hi, how are you? Amazing to see you. Look, you're wearing the t-shirt and the jeans. I think I've had them for almost three years. No, yeah, you've worn them on stage. It's like one of your staple, like, signature pieces, you know? You curate. <laughs> Yeah, they're my faves. I love them. Totally started to redirect my focus on the free time. So I started something called Convo Sessions, hour-long interviews with artists of all kind. And it was so much fun. I was gonna stop at 100, but I got to 93 because George Floyd was murdered and that was another chapter. Learning and listening and protesting and signing and calling was and is still a bigger focus. There's so many new pieces to show you. This is uh, the Vietnam era, authentic, but it totally just, you know, rings true with just everything going on in the world today. It's so emotional. It's just unreal that it even survived all this time. You have to go to school, teach yourself about what's happening, especially with the election approaching. And we also still need art. My fans have reminded me. And I feel just lucky to be called on. We're all just figuring this whole thing out. And take them put on.